Hello, welcome back once again. Today we're going to solve this interesting Olympiad mathematics problem. We're given that x raised to the power of x is equal to 49. In this video, we're going to solve for the value of x that will satisfy this equation. So let's get started. Let us find out if x is an integer by performing the following arithmetics. So here, let us consider when x is equal to 1, then we get 1 raised to the power of 1, and this is equal to 1. And this is obviously less than the right hand side, which is 49. If x is equal to 2, we get 2 raised to the power of 2, which is equal to 4. This is as well less than the right hand side, which is 49. If x is equal to 3, we get 3 to the power of 3, which is equal to 27. And this again is less than 49. If x is equal to 4, we get 4 raised to the power of 4, which is 256. And this is far away greater than 49. So we can see what happens here between this 3 and 4. So this is obviously telling us that x lies between 3 and 4. Therefore, we say that 3 is less than x and x is less than 4. So this shows that x is not an integer. So let's get started. Let us ln both sides of this equation. So we have the ln of x raised to the power of x. This is equal to the ln of 49. So from this left hand side, we're going to apply this property. We know that ln of a to the power of b is equal to b multiplied by the ln of a and again at the right hand side we can as well write that 49 and 7 squared so this is same as ln of x to the power of x is equal to ln of 7 raised to the power of 2 now make use of this logarithmic formula we get x times the ln of x is equal to 2 times the ln of 7 now from here we're going to write this x using the following property. We know a can be written in the form e raised to the power of ln of a. When a has the power of b, we can write this as e raised to the power of b multiplied by the ln of a. Therefore, the power of x is 1. So this will be same as here we have ln of x. Then multiply by e raised to the power of the ln of x. So this is equal to 2 ln of 7. From here, we're going to use the W function, which is called the Lambert W function, which is also known as the product logarithm. So if you take the W function on both sides of this equation, then at the left-hand side, we use this nice property of this W function, which is that the W of A times E raised to the power of A is equal to A. The left-hand side simplifies nicely to ln of X, which is equal to the W of 2 multiplied by the ln of 7. Here we take the common base of a on both sides and here the ln and the e get cancelled leaving us with only x which is equal to e raised to the power of the w of 2 ln of 7. And this right over here is approximately equal to 3.2780312 and this right over here is our correct answer. Thank you for watching. If you 